So now that we have studied the two very basic elements inside uh, our two basic electrical components, we can put them together. Right? And here is some example. Here is an example. I am putting them together right in front of you. So this is a battery. It is connected. One end of the battery is connected to one end of the bulb. The other end of the battery is connected to other end of the bulb. And as soon as I do that, the bulb light lights up. Okay? It is very, very uh, sort of... Uh, this thing is very, very entertaining. So you should definitely do this at home. You can try it okay, by using a battery to light a bulb. And if you notice, the only correct way to connect a bulb to a battery is if I connect one end of the bulb to one terminal of the battery and the other end or the other terminal of the bulb is connected to the other terminal of the battery. There is no other way to good, make a good connection. And of course, at the same time, we also have to make sure that all our wires are properly connected. There is no loose connection, nothing like that. And as soon as we do that, the current flows, the battery drives the electrons. Okay, this is what driving force. It drives the electrons through the wires, through the filament of the bulb and back. And of course, the bulb lights up. One more element which is important inside a, uh, inside our, okay, this, this, this connection, the way we connected it is known as a circuit. Okay, as soon as the, the circuit is complete, the electrons flow. If the circuit is incomplete, it is broken, the electrons don't flow. Okay, so this is a closed circuit when it is complete and it is an open circuit when it is not complete. Okay, and the closed path, right, along which the electrons would flow through the wires, through the battery, through the bulb is known as a circuit. One of the other important elements inside our electrical circuit is a switch. Okay, notice I have created a kind of a switch here, which is a very manual. It's a very kludgy switch, if you will, where I, wherein I make a connection here, then the circuit is complete. If I disconnect, then the circuit is incomplete. Little more sophisticated <laughs> switches are available in our household. They are available in batteries. Okay, that's when we use it. And one such circuit is given in your book also. One such switch is also given in your book where they use a safety pin to make the connection or break the connection. So the safety pin is uh, makes the connection, then the current flows through the safety pin and the bulb lights up. If this, this, the safety pin is turned on one side, then the connection is broken and of course the bulb does not light anymore because there is no path for the electrons to flow. The circuit is broken.